Hi right, everybody, Bald and Fury is here. I watched the Johnny, uh, whatever it's Johnny B. Uh, he's ran, he's not happy with the Trump because he abandoned us on the Second Amendment, yada, yada, yada. Uh, he's probably partially right. But on the other hand, poor guy is not a politician, okay? And he's surrounded by freaking liars, cheaters, and uh, he's playing chess, not checkers. So that's 300 something million people in this country. And although 75 million voted for him, there's no way he can satisfy them all. So pretty sure we got more pressing issues than uh, bomb tag and the other crap. Which, yes, absolutely, yes, it, it, it is a tag on the Second Amendment, all, the, all, all that, but historically, if you look at it, we've been losing our rights little by little all the time. And it's, by saying losing, it's not really losing, we, we, we gave them up. Little by little, we gave them up. So, no wonder, uh, you know, ADF goes and does whatever the hell they want. Yes, it would be nice if we just freaking uh, uh, fire the, the, the head of ADF or replace him with, with somebody that has a common sense. Uh, those guys are supposed to be worried about criminals and not the law-abiding citizens, whether they're gonna fucking uh, shoulder the, the brace or not, like, really. We as a country, we got nothing bigger to worry about. Uh, but, uh, Besides the Second Amendment, every single one of our rights is being attacked. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. <laughs> All this bullshit with the COVID going on is we quarantine uh, healthy instead of quarantine sick. Uh, fear mongering left and right. I mean, you cannot turn the news on. And you know what? From what I'm reading all over the social media, people more and more are getting fed up with that. Ordinary people, like there's this this uh, this page Central New York News or some shit like that on the Facebook, and people more and more are just commenting because all all this site does is just report bad news. And oh, this guy died of COVID. Never mind that he had a heart attack and underlying condition. No, he died of COVID. Or oh, this actress, she died of COVID. Never mind she was 82 and she had a, a stage four cancer. She died of COVID. And just they kept going, and people, people are seeing through it and had enough. You know, stop with the fear mongering. I mean, through the fear they control the population. And if you're a fucking moron, afraid of everything, then yeah, you gotta be controlled. You gotta start using your own fucking brain, make your own decisions, do your own research on everything. So. Hopefully, 2021 is gonna be a little better. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, it doesn't take much for 2021 to be better than 2020. <laughs> All right. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little better. Hopefully something will happen. Uh, I'm still planning on going down to uh, DC on January 6th. I'm bringing three more friends with me, so there's four of us. And. Uh, I wish the NRA or some big organization would step in and organize and we all would come freaking armed to the teeth and just fucking if 50,000 people gonna show up armed, the, uh, the cops can't do shit. You know, if 10 people gonna show up armed, you gotta get shot or arrested at the best. But uh, stage it in like a fucking Virginia and bust the people in, you know, full bus of people, they can't they can arrest that, you know three, four buses at a time, just keep busing people in or something like that. That would be awesome. That would be a real display of, of, of power, Second Amendment, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, all the fucking amendments uh, like this. So, yeah, ain't gonna happen. Although we got, we got a bunch of guns, uh, all we do is play with them. And nobody's really willing to take up the arms and, and uh, do like a, uh, what the hell was it? Athens, Tennessee, in 1946, when uh, basically vets came home and saw the town run by corrupt uh, politicians. They saw what 
happened at the polling stations and they simply broke in the local armory and, and they guarded the election. Go read the story. It's a cool story. That's what needs to happen on a on a on a state and federal level. That's what needs to happen because the government's way too big. Uh, they bunch of elites. They don't they don't work for us anymore. We work for them. <laughs> That's pretty much where we at. So see you in 2021.